Happy New Year's, everyone. Welcome to 2022. And to kick off the new year, we are going to look at the top five mountain bikes that you can get for $2,500. I've got some personal experience with a couple of these bikes. I've done some research on all of them. We're going to give you an idea of what is the best bang for your buck that you can get now that supply chain is crazy and prices have gone up on bikes. I hope this is helpful. So without further ado, let's get out there and find that flow. Okay guys, it's 2022 and we know that mountain bikes are still really, really hard to find. Some bike shops locally are starting to get bikes in, but overall supply chain is crazy. Thank you, COVID. So what I thought would be helpful for this video is to look at five bikes that have a pretty good price point, even though your dollar doesn't go as far as it used to go because prices have gone up because bikes are harder to find. Checked out Blue Wheel Cycle. They actually had bikes in stock here in Charlottesville, but other bike shops still have longer wait times. You're gonna have to call them figure out what's in stock. So what I tried to do was find bikes, both that are direct to manufacturer that are coming in in 2022, or excuse me, direct to consumer. And then we looked at some bikes that are sold by dealers. So you can call your local bike shop that sells for that brand and work with them to figure out when those bikes are coming in. In the end, that's still the best way to find the mountain bike that you want is to work to figure out what they have coming in already. And if it's what you're looking for, you get a little bit lucky, you'll be able to get the bike that you want at the best possible price. What you still can't really do is go to a shop and tell them exactly the build that you want and have them order it. Orders are still, my understanding, six to 12 months or more for most bike shops. So again, it's still a little bit of a weird world that we live in, but we're gonna go through five bikes that have awesome value for the dollar. They're gonna get you on the trail a little bit better than maybe your entry level bike. So you can have a lot more fun and get a lot more out of the bike that you get. So without further ado, let's hop into our first bike. The first bike on the list is the Marin Rift Zone 29. So this is a full suspension 29er with 130 millimeters of front travel and 125 millimeters of rear travel. And you see that 2349 price point for the Rift Zone 29.2. So for those of you that are local to the area, you may be familiar with uh, the DTR MTB uh, channel. Brian rides a Rift Zone and has raved and loved this bike. Spec highlights include the RockShox Deluxe Debonair Rear Shock and a RockShox Recon RL Front Fork Transex Dropper Post 2.35 inch tires that you can set up tubeless. So overall, uh, the rear shock is going to be what is the highlight of this build. The Dior 12 speed is fine. I have that on my Marin hardtail that I just got, the El Roy. And overall, it's going to be a entry level but good build to get you into a full suspension bike that's going to eat up rock gardens, flow, jump trails, and everything in between that you're going to need a full suspension bike to handle when you start progressing in your riding ability. Geometry is modern and progressive with a 65 and a half degree head tube angle and a steep, easy to pedal seat tube angle of 76 degrees. Marin uses both a direct consumer and dealer network. They have them sold at Endeavor Cycles here in Charlottesville, Virginia. And this is going to be an awesome option for a really reasonable price point. So shout out to Brian for some footage and some feedback here. Highly recommended and probably are the top list for value that you're going to get in a full suspension bike to get you on the trail and get you a little bit farther into your riding abilities out into the mountains and everything in between. The next bike on the list is the Giant Trance 29.3. So this is 130 millimeters of front, 150 millimeter back aluminum full suspension bike from probably the largest mountain bike manufacturer in the world, which means there's a decent chance that you may be able to find one at a local bike shop or source one around the region if you're willing to drive. So the key and shining moment for this bike really is going to be that front fork, which is a Marzocchi Z2, similar to the Z1 that I have on my Marin Elroy. It's going to be beefy and robust and able to take all of the hits that you're looking for out on the trail with 130 in front. Although the 115 in the back might be a little short, their tried and true Maestro suspension will take care of all that you need for that progressive riding you're going to be looking to do. The Fox Float rear shock is also going to be a uh, standout in this price point. The rest of the build is pretty standard. You're going to have some Dior drivetrain components and brakes and overall similar to the Marin that we just looked at. I think the difference here is going to be slightly better suspension setup for a little bit more money. So if you can find one in stock, the feel and performance of this bike is going to be similar. Set up tubeless and you'll be able to get on the trail a little bit farther. 
geometry is slightly less progressive with a slightly less slack head tube angle and seat tube that's a little bit more steep. But again, that might feel similar to those that are looking for a traditional feel on the bike. Overall, it's gonna be balanced. It's gonna be able to handle a lot of what you can throw at. So another good uh, option if you're looking for slightly better suspension at a slightly higher price point, but still under 2,500 bucks. For the third bike on our list, we're looking at the direct-to-consumer Canyon Neuron Aluminum. And this is going to be a full suspension, 130 millimeter front and back trail bike, but should have better components compared to uh, their non-direct-to-consumer counterparts for the same price. This bike is listed just under $2,300, and with it, you get a couple of key things a great RockShox Deluxe rear shock and a mediocre RockShox Judy front fork, though should be sufficient for soaking up drops and jumps as you go along. SX drivetrain, full eagle is good, but not great and heavy, as well as hydraulic brakes, but on the low end of the spectrum. So really the key here is instead of $2,500, you're down at a $2,200, $2,300 price point. These bikes are gonna be available in March of 2022 and should be a great option, provided you can find them in stock or one that they can ship to you in a reasonable amount of time. Geometry is balanced and similar to the Giant with a 67 degree head tube angle and 74 and a half seat tube. So it'll be balanced. It'll give the ability to hit the trail feeling balanced and comfortable in chattery sections, drops and jumps. Again, you're not going to be full hucked flat here or anything like that on this bike. But as this one trends a little bit more XC, it's going to be a great option, especially taking your first step into a progressive mountain bike and one that you can feel confident that if you want to upgrade, you can upgrade a solid frame into better components as you're riding progresses. Great place to start. Some entry level components with uh, an Iridian dropper post pieces I can't speak to with any experience, but you can assume they're house brands. So overall, another great option, a better price point, probably the best price point that you're going to find for what you get. But that's what you get with direct to consumer, because that means you don't have any uh, local bike shop support and you have to deal with their warranty. But those that have YITs or uh, um, Canyons or any of those DTC brands speak highly of their customer support because they have to. So if you're comfortable doing your own wrenching or feel okay paying the local bike shop if you need them, this direct to consumer van will save you a few hundred bucks and get you an awesome bike to get out on the trail. Sticking with the direct to consumer brands, the Polygon Cisco T8 for 2022 for $24.99 gets you probably the best build for our price point that Fox Rhythm 34 is gonna be the best fork you're going to get on the market. Undoubtedly, you've seen a lot from Polygon recently as they've started to make headway and making their products more available in the mainstream mountain bike market. They've only been uh, on my radar for a year or two, but looking at the build kit with full SLX drivetrain, it's definitely one worth considering, again, if you're comfortable with that direct-to-consumer uh, method of getting your bikes. It's not all fun and games though, the bike loses points with me for the Tektro hydraulic brakes which are good enough but just barely and the low end Shimano hubs for the wheel set. Overall it'll get you on the trail but expect to replace those within the first year unless you get luckier than most. Sizing and geometry is cool on this as well because they've got 27.5 size tires on the small and the medium and up to 29ers for the medium large and extra large. Head tube angle is slack and steep enough on the seat tube angle to keep you in that stable riding position. So again, you're going to max out our budget here at 2500 for a great fork and shock and SLX drivetrain, but you give it back in a few other places. So keep that into consideration if you want to go this route with the Polygon. For the last bike on the list, we're going back to a brand sold through bike shops, the Kona Process 134. This is gonna max out our budget over $2,500 for a 27.5 wheel face with 134 millimeters of rear travel and 140 millimeters of front travel. So this is gonna be interesting as we look at a really progressive geometry, longer travel, but it's got the smaller wheel size that's still popular, but not as popular 29ers these days. Um, Kona makes fantastic bikes and the process is going to be their flagship bike. If you look at the build kit, you're gonna see a great rear shock option, but a pretty low end Recon RL front fork. Something that if you're gonna spend $2,600 on, you might want a little bit more. 11 speed drive train instead of 12, and then a low end Shimano hub and Shimano brakes at the low end of the spectrum. Geometry is solid and progressive with 66 degree head tube angle and a seat tube angle at 76.8 and it slightly progresses the bigger size frame bike that you get. 
So this bike is an interesting one for me. It's gonna be the most expensive option and you've got a decent build kit in some ways, but not as good as those direct to consumer brands. Again, you're gonna get great local bike shop performance and Kona is tried and true in some of the most progressive bikes out there. So that's something you're gonna to have to weigh. For me, in the end, I think we have great options here. Work with your local bike shop or talk to the direct to consumer manufacturers. And then for my money, I'm going with the Marin Rift Zone or strongly considering the Polygon for a bike that I'm looking to get onto the trail for $2,500. So I hope you found this video useful. Comment below if there's other bikes that you would want to see added to this list. I'll do my best to get out there and check them out, find shops that have them, get some feedback and get them out there for you. The more that we communicate, the more information that we get, the better we can all get out there a little bit faster, a little bit better, and find that flow. Oh,